G'day folks, it's me again. Today we're going to be looking at another metal halide lamp. It's quite a special metal halide lamp. It's a General Electric MBI LH lamp. It is 1500 watts and as you can see it's a linear lamp but it has no outer envelope. The thermal insulation is provided by the sealed fitting obviously that it burns in. Now just a little bit of backstory. Uh, during the 1960s and early 1970s, a lot of stadiums employed 1500 watt tungsten halogen lamps like this. And these are actually really good lamps because due to the actual thickness of them, they can be placed really precisely in the focal point of a reflector system. Discharge lamps at the time had quite bulky outer envelopes and obviously to make a fitting they would absolutely be absolutely be massive. Uh, but Thorne developed this because in the early 1970s there was a lot of uh, colour TV broadcast being done and those cameras required quite a lot more light on the field. So these metal halide lamps were designed to actually be used in the same fittings as the Thompson halogen lamp was. Now as I said this is 120,000 lumens that's a significant increase in the old Thompson halogen lamp but obviously there is some issues because of, obviously you can see the arc length, there's no way you're going to be able to make that run on normal 240 volt mains. It needs a either uh, between two phases on 400 volts or some sort of step up transformer, which they did actually make, but the gear is rare as horseshit. So anyway, let's see if we can fire it up. Might as well give the full technical specs. The actual full name is a General Electric Sportlight Linear SPL 1500 RX7SM. It obviously uses the RX7S caps like any other linear halogen. The service life is 6000 hours, the arc voltage is 250 volts and the arc current is 6.8 amps. Obviously it provides 120,000 lumens at a colour temperature of 5,200 Kelvin with a fairly reasonable colour rendering index of 65%. This example is made in Hungary, but obviously the original Thorn ones were all made in the UK. Uh, the reason why this is frosted is to improve the colour uniformity, obviously because it's a massive arc. Uh, these are actually still made and used because of the very good colour stability throughout the lamp's lifetime. So uh, let's try and fire it up. I have got some gear to run on, but it might take a bit of uh, tweaking. Right, the uh, control gear that we're going to be using is those two 1000 watt metal halide ballasts. These are the ones which are designed for the high voltage arc tube lamps. We're going to run those two in parallel, just like we did with that 2000 watt Osram. But this time we're going to use the Variac and feed it a reduced input voltage which should lower the arc current to our desired value. Obviously we're going to have to use an igniter. So I've got this Philips SI54 wired up. It's rated for up to 2000 watt metal halide lamp. It's a parallel type and it should give us an ignition pulse of 1.5 kV. That should be enough. Right, so I've got the lamp mounted in a 1500 watt tungsten halogen fitting. Uh, it's quite a cheap fitting and it's not designed to handle a lamp of this type. You might think that's a bit strange considering they're both 1500 watts. But as you can see from the state of the reflector, it's suffered some heat damage. Uh, the thing about a tungsten halogen lamp is quite a lot, if not most of the energy, uh, is infrared and that's reflected out the front of the fitting. Whereas on this metal halide lamp, a large portion of heat is just radiated out and obviously it stays in the fitting and it overheats the fitting. But anyway, let's uh, fire it up. Right, so I've lowered the exposure so uh, when the lamp strikes you'll be able to see the initial arc. Obviously when it runs up I'll have to uh, put the ND1000 filter on, which it only fits one lens so I'll have to change the lens to the macro. Anyway, we'll be able to get some nice views of the arc, even if it is frosted, we'll still be able to see it. Anyway, three, two, one, go! Nothing. Oh, oh, do you want to know why? 
I need to plug it in. Right. <coughs> right, it's plugged in now. Three, two, one, boom. Nice. That is, oh Jesus, that's, this runs up really, really quickly. In fact, I went up to uh, close the aperture already. That is stupid bright. Yep. <laughs> well, you're not going to see a view of the run up because it's too bright for that. Right, there we are, the lamp's at full power. Uh, it's bloody bright, especially when it's in that reflector system. Uh, well, it's it's bloody warm as well. Um, quite far back, because obviously I'm using a 180mm macro lens. It's the only, well, I've only got one ND1000 filter, and it's the only lens it fits on, because of the, uh, the filter size. But anyway, I'm quite far back, and I can still feel it from here. Uh, yeah, we're at full power. We're drawing about 1800 watts from the mains. There's some losses in those two chokes. We're at the magic 6.8 amp uh, arc current. I've had to throttle the Variac down quite a bit to achieve that. But it seems quite happy. And, well, it's a very, very nice uh, daylight colour. And the colour rendition is actually really, really good. You can see why these are still used today. And you can only imagine what a tower of these in the 1970s would look like when there's like maybe 20 or 30 fittings up there. That would look quite impressive. And uh, yeah, that's really quite impressive lamp. And it's amazing of the uh, technology that they developed back then. Oh, that's one of my meters going on standby. Never mind. Let's see if we can get a closer look. Here's a nice close up at one end. That is stupidly bright. And it's uh, warming the place up quite nicely. Obviously the uh, bare arc tube, the fitting itself acts as the insulation instead of the outer envelope. And uh, obviously as it's in a fitting for tungsten halogen lamps it can fit right in the focal point of a very compact and efficient reflector system. And obviously when you're putting all these up a tower, uh, windage and weight becomes an issue so Compact floodlights is what you want, and these were a very good upgrade for uh, tungsten halogen. I love these lamps; these are brilliant. Right, it's getting warm in here now, so I'm going to kill it. Uh, I'll keep the camera there, but obviously you won't see it because it's going to uh, expose you. But I'll try and I'll try and. Uh, Three, two, one, gone. No. Oh well. Uh, thanks for watching. There'll be more videos soon, hopefully. And, well, if you've got this far, bye bye now.